Those touched down in Monroe County. The deadly storm left behind significant damage and debris that could take weeks to clean up. Uh, Quentin Smith, he speaks with county leaders about the debris removal. Quentin, do we have a timetable on when crews will clean up all of this debris? Well, Scott, at this time, that answer is unclear because they're still waiting on the president to issue a declaration and to receive federal assistance. This weekend storm literally left behind tons of debris. Now, county leaders are actively searching for a contractor to come in and haul it all away. If you drive along McDuffie Cemetery Road in Monroe County, this is the site you'll see. Tree limbs lined all along the road. From shingles to personal and basic household items, this weekend's tornado left debris scattered everywhere. Best estimates is going to be 100 to 120,000 ton, which is, according to MEMA, uh, about as heavy as they've seen in a tornado like this. The storm left behind over a million dollars worth of damage. Monroe County Road Manager Sonny Clay says the rubbish is too much for the county to handle on their own. And as a result, they're now looking to bring in a contractor to haul it all away. We're working as we speak to get some requests for proposals out. Our goal is to, by the end of next week, to have some proposals to go out for contractors to submit bids on. Uh, we will uh, take those bids. Hopefully, we'll be able to take those bids, uh, analyze them, go through them, determine who's best qualified, who can do it the quickest and, and, and the best. However, the county won't be able to hire a contractor until a declaration is signed by the president. And at this time, Clay says he doesn't know how long that's going to take. Of course, Monroe County, the event that we had last Saturday night is going to be tied in with Warren County and uh, Octobaha County. And I think there was four places in the state that had damage last week. All of that would go in with one declaration to the president. We've got all hours together ready to go in. MEMA's working on getting it ready to go to FEMA now. But my understanding is that it won't be looked at until these other counties come in. In the meantime, Clay says they're urging all residents to push their debris to the edge of the road and be patient with them as they try to find a solution to get all of this debris cleaned up as quick as possible. We're probably looking at a $4 million contract. And Monroe County just didn't have $4 million to put out there on a limb without knowing that we're going to get reimbursed through a presidential declaration. Now, I do want to point out, just because they're waiting on the presidential declaration, Clay says they're still going to go out and try to haul away as much debris as they can. County leaders say it's their plan to already have a contractor lined up, and if this declaration is issued, they'll have the contracting group come in right away and get everything cleaned up.